Hey David, how are you? Hi, how are you, man? All right. Oh, goodness, I'm all right. Finally, we managed to get this done. <laughs> <laughs> how you been, by right. the way? I've been good, thanks. Thankfully, yeah. To be honest, I had uh, I was doing an online class this morning, so I've actually been oh. sat at the computer no most way. of the day. I've been out for a wee half hour. I see, I see, I see. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. It's quite warm as well. I must say, even from a person who comes from a hot country, it is quite warm. <laughs> what what yeah. is it like? You should appreciate it while it lasts. Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> mate. Yeah. Well, thank you again for joining us back. You know, obviously we had. Pleasure. This live uh, fiasco but we managed to get through it <laughs> so thank yeah. you again so how i usually do is i would hand it over to you you would introduce yourself and then i would just fire right. in with a question okay so, david stanton photographer and also got the privilege to do a wee bit of teaching part-time as well in a couple of the colleges in glasgow so awesome. um love every minute of it i love meeting people like yourself uh, and the photography students Mm -hmm. I just live off it, to be honest. It's absolutely great. Oh, that's amazing, David. Thank you so no much. So I'll just fire in with the first question then. Uh, when did you start photography? Well, it's um, probably in my very early teens or even before that. I, I used to see my dad, who was a keen amateur photographer. He had millions of pictures in a big suitcase, and I used to go wow. through them and kind of marvel at them. And then... As I get more active, I'd go out mountain biking and walking in the in the countryside and absolutely loved it. So photography became my way of capturing those moments when I was out, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and as I say, my dad being a photographer was also uh, just a, a, an inspiration, even though he used to have millions of pictures of my very glamorous mother. Wow. He had millions of, millions of pictures of my glamorous sister. And then when I came along, it seemed to stop. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> David, oh my so, goodness. I don't believe I don't know that. what happened there. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know? <laughs> oh my goodness. So I didn't even know. So you have siblings as well then? Yes, yeah. I have a sister, an older sister. Um, wow. My parents now are gone. But um, yeah, he was very keen in photography. So mm. basically, it must have started there. You don't... I can't remember, you know, when it happened, but when it happened, there was yeah. always cameras about. So it was part of your um, your life growing up. Yes, I yeah, and I think I just loved looking, and I still do. I love looking at other people's pictures. I love looking mm -hmm. through and seeing it's that a wee window in their life, isn't it? Absolutely. And I think this the still image does that so much better. I think than the moving image. Yeah. So to this day, I'm still more interested in the still image. You know. Amazing. But yeah, so I would have started about 12 or 13 to, and then I took a camera everywhere, snapping away. It wasn't like wow. now you can do it on the phone, you know, so you know. to wait in your film being processed and stuff. Yeah. But that was exciting as well. Amazing. And also, uh, when, when did you learn how to photograph or were you self-taught? I, I, I was predominantly self-taught until I went to college, but I didn't go to college till I was nearly 40. So, wow. <laughs> so I, I yeah. already had most of the kind of settings in the bag and all that. I knew kind of what I was doing. I'd yeah. been experimenting. So it was trial and error for, for years and years and accepting when you made mistakes. And mm -hmm. So I didn't go back. I, I, I always loved photography, but I never actually thought, because I get married very, very young. I'm, okay, I'll, I'll own up now. I was 16 when I got married. Oh, really? Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. that's a bit mad, isn't it? Uh, so well, yeah. obviously times were different back then as well. Do you know, it was the seventies, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to details, but you know, it yeah. was. Um, <laughs> yeah. I get married young, and the thing is that you know, I, I used to get friends. You know, do you not know, regret? You know, having a lot yeah. more time to play the field and all this kind of stuff. But yeah. I, I, I was one of these lucky guys that met the right person. The right person. And wow. We've, we've grown we've grown old together if you like. Wow, that's and that's 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 a lovely thing, you know. It's rare. I mean, it's I, rare I to find that. Nothing other yeah than, than happiness, rare. you know. I mean So I've been able to spend more years than most would with their, <laughs> their wives. Oh that's that's true. That's yeah. true. that's amazing. So yeah, learning learning photography was all done just trial and error and then formally when I went back to college 
um, as I say, I was a mature student. Mm. And that was not so much about learning how to work a camera then. It was actually more about interacting with the lecturers wow. and your fellow students. That was how you really learned. And that, that is, yeah. with all this kind of online learning at the moment, it, there's nothing I don't think beats actually that one-to-one. One-to-one, yeah. It's pace. different. I think you need that. Um, oh, and true. even more so now. <laughs> That's so true. And also, and when let's just talk about when you decided to teach part-time as well. When did you Well, I, I, again, and I've... <laughs> I've kind of stumbled my way through life. I've, I've been very lucky. Wow. When I went to college, at the end of that particular course, so I did an HND and I did an advanced diploma, which kind of counts as part of a degree. Mm -hmm. And once I'd done that, the college asked me to come in at the end of that summer holiday to teach. Mm -hmm. So wow. I had just left as a student. No way. And they got me in to teach. That's insane. So I, I had not even considered it, uh, but they must have seen history. something. Yeah, they must have seen something in me that, yeah. That's amazing. So that was a wee bit of it, because I didn't feel, you know, I'm, I, I would never consider myself a big academic or anything like that. Mm. But I, I have an enthusiasm and a love for what I do, and hopefully that kind of carries forward, you know. Absolutely. You're able to basically take what you learn and pass it on to pass the, it on. the new generation who's going to obviously take on your... And you know what I think? It's also something people for, uh, tend to forget. It's like, uh, I think whether you're a lecturer or a teacher, you're a really big part of somebody's growth and development. And, and that on itself, it's such an honor. It's not something to take lightly, yeah. you know. And because of our teacher, we learn how to speak, learn how to spell, or learn how to do so many things. Exactly, yeah. Those are the things you should be celebrating. It's a big job, similar to, you know, being... You know, obviously somebody who's taking a doctor or something like you're part of, you know, the journey of somebody's development. And Absolutely. And, so, and it's such a thrill to see sometimes when somebody, you know, moves on and you see yeah. them developing, you know, and yeah, it's 99% their own drive yeah. that does it. But you're almost like a, a second small... parent after you yeah. know what i mean like almost like a second parent to them in a way yeah absolutely yeah well it'd be nice if they thought that way yeah but <laughs> I, <as> I said, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah so it's, it is a real honor and i i love it absolutely love it there's nothing better than teaching those that they really want to learn you know mm -hmm. that's amazing and also uh what are the new millennial tricks you've learned from teaching photography to a social media driven world of student. Yeah, um, <laughs> Is there I've had to drag or? myself, I've had to drag myself into this millennium, I think. And how was it, because you um, imagine, because it's a different way of life now, you know? Uh, it's completely different, you know? Yeah. But it's great because I'm, I'm learning all the time, I'm learning with this technology, you know, yeah. <laughs> that it works and sometimes it doesn't. Exactly. Um, and so it's, it's a two-edged sword, I think, mm. kind of modern. We, it's got a lot of really positive things and it has a negative side to it as well. So it's about using the positive side of it, I think. Absolutely. That's amazing. So tricks-wise, I don't know, you probably need to ask my students that one, whether I'm actually... <laughs> maybe they, they may comment that, you know, once this is up, they may maybe write it yeah, down. Yeah, they might, yeah. Scary. <laughs> That's amazing. And also, uh, how, how has social media impacted photogra the photography world? I think massively, um, again, in, in a positive and a negative way. Positively, it's fantastic for self-promotion. Yeah. I think everybody, everybody's work now can be seen at the touch of a button. Absolutely. And that's brilliant. So if you're someone who's maybe normally shy of showing their work, being able to show it in social media now, I mean, I, going back to, I, 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 you maybe not answered, I asked this question yet, but Basically, the first magazines I ever get um, published were where they'd saw stuff on Flickr or whatever, you know, wow. and it could be it could be Instagram or Facebook. Mm -hmm. So yeah. there's people watching that stuff. So if you, I always say to students, get your work out there, let it be seen, mm -hmm. because you don't know who's watching. So Absolutely. social media has been fantastic for that and fantastic for this. You know? Absolutely, yeah. You're able to do things like this. And I think, like you said, you know, there's good and bad on every sector of things in life you know 
whether yeah. that's life, whether that's, you know, social media or whatever the case might be. And obviously, you know, you, if you focus on it's going to benefit, you get from the way the world is advancing, you know, people are able to create. And I mean, who yeah. would have thought that one day you would be able to do such thing as this? Do you know what I mean? It's fantastic, like, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And or you go live on Instagram or go live on Facebook or Twitter, the, whatever yeah. the case might be. I mean, you see through the kids, like how, you know, the world has managed to develop. And, and I think you, we're only able to develop when we allow ourselves to accept, you know, uh, the creativeness of other people that, Absolutely. Bring, you know what I mean? I think, that's the only yeah. way we're able to evolve. If we accept and welcome new ideas and new uh, artists or whatever the case might be, because yeah. this as is a part of this. Yeah, as a photographer, I, I, I live off the creativity and the yeah. passion of yeah. all the people I work with, whether that's stylists, makeup artists, yeah. hairstylists, all these people are all yeah. part of what I do. And Absolutely. without them, I'm just a wee old guy with a camera. <laughs> I, I mean, true. it's a team effort. We need everyone, Absolutely. We need each other. Yeah. Yeah. You know, nobody yeah. does this on their own. So you're totally right. right. Yeah. Amazing. So, and also, do you prefer shooting on digital camera or film? Or maybe both? What, which one? Uh, do you well, I, I, I only shoot digital now. I shot my whole life before digital was all obviously on film. So mm -hmm. I did all that. I used to, in fact, <laughs> behind that wee curtain there, I used to have a wee dark room in there. Oh, and really? So basically a cupboard that was converted into a dark room. Awesome. And I've always wanted to go to I mean, one of those. <laughs> yeah, so I had that in my house for years, but when digital came along, I embraced it, and I absolutely love it. Yeah. You know, you can get people that are a wee bit snobbish about one or the other. I just think it's daft. It's whatever the creative medium is, it really doesn't matter. You sure. know, it's that's about great. what you yeah. create with it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, I, I really do also like kind of, I think like I always would always have an appreciation of both because obviously oh, definitely. Like I said, yeah. it, it's great to be able to have both still relevant right now. I, think, I, I mean, it'd be terrible if film went away. I wouldn't want that. That's so true. That's yeah. absolutely true. Awesome. And it's just another tool to, to create with, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, and it's great if you can work with both as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know? Awesome. Yeah, and yeah. also, Ed, what's your favorite lens to shoot? And, and camera, and why as well, yeah. and why is that? All right, well, I, I shoot with a Canon, okay, but, but there's no, you know, whether it's Nikon, Canon, you know, Fuji, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Lens-wise, uh, the one that's probably never off, my camera is my 70 to 200, that's fantastic for kind of fashion and portraiture, but yeah. to be honest, a lens is for a specific job, so I've got a 16 to 35 millimeter lens, that's for my big wide eye, you know, my landscape pictures. Ah, okay, okay. So that's the kind of... So that's when you're maybe you going like the that. nature or something, like going to mountains or... Yeah, you know. I mean, if I was to go, I don't know if this will work, right? Let's see if it yeah, works, shall we? Yeah, let's see if we can share. I'll share my screen in a wee second. Just yeah. hold on a wee second. Just get a few things out of the way first. Yeah. So if I share my screen... Yeah. And I go in here. You know, mm -hmm. can you see that already? Right? Yes, I can see that. Just a, a bunch great. of pictures. So... Your yeah. wide angle lens mm -hmm. is used for the likes of this kind of thing. Oh wow, those are beautiful. And did, okay. you, did you when did you take these? Well these are they're a few years old, these ones now, maybe about 10, 15 years or more oh, wow. old. But that's the kind of stuff I would take if I was out climbing or mountain biking or whatever. That and is a wide angle lens is good for that. You know, this kind of stuff. The same these kind of things. This is real. Oh my yeah, goodness. that's that's just on the East Coast. That's just uh, that's the Bass Rock there, that's and I get a long reach exposure. But that's the kind of thing you would use your wide angle lens. Whereas oh. if you go to, so that's you know, the wide angle, the one that you yes. Have. And so what about your, this one? So your seventy to two hundred would take these kind of pictures. Right. Okay. Right. So that's taking more of your kind of portraiture or your kind of fashiony type shots. I'll take mm -hmm. it, you know, in that kind of vein. Um, let me see, I'll bring up another one. Oh, this is beautiful. So this is Judy Clark's work. I don't oh, know if wow. you know Judy. You should try and interview you, Judy. She's amazing. I love how you kind of, it's, it's kind of like a modern Scottish woman in a way. Yeah. You know, with yeah. a pattern. That's the right. Tartan, sorry. 
Yeah, I'm no, that's, that's right. So that would be more your 70 to 200. So I've got a load of lenses, but that's the kind of thing. So you can wow. see that, you know, so when I go to oh, something wow. like this, I'm now mixing landscape and with the fashion. Is, and where is this exactly? That's a Tintalan Castle. Okay. That's Tintalan. Yeah, wow. it's virtually taken in the same place as that picture I showed you earlier, this one. That's the same place. If I was to move round to the, wow. the left a wee bit there, you would see the castle. I mean, it looks like so, you guys are on a cloud. I mean, was this quite high? It would look. No, no, I'm only standing on the rocks looking down, but that's that wide angle beautiful. perspective. It, I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love the, the way the smokes are just kind of coming, and I believe this. That's just water. Yeah. Oh, it's that's water. water. Yeah, it's water and a slow shutter wow. speed. Oh, my so, God. <laughs> I mean, this but that's beautiful. you know, so different different lenses, different types of. I'll move back. I'll stop here just now. It's there just, we go. Oh my god! I mean, David, those are some of the stuff that I've never seen before. From I mean, you <laughs> give me exclusive right there. I mean, this is great. <laughs> but you know, I've loved so I've loved the landscape. So when I can put some of the Scottish fashion in the landscape, that's my that's my dream. I love and all I mean, that kind of it's stuff. It's amazing how you showed that you're able to kind of shoot, like you said, landscape. And also combine the both together with like you know obviously yeah. someone there and it's like fashion meets nature in a way. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's my favorite. That yeah. I mean, it looks amazing, and definitely yeah, the choices of model does make an impact as well on how the picture. Oh, as well. right. it, models, makeup artists, stylists, all yeah. these people make those shots. Yeah, you know, as, as you said, we said earlier, it's teamwork. Total it's teamwork. teamwork. I mean, it's beautiful, David. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Thank you. And also, if you can remember, what was the first thing you ever shot? Well, it's funny because I was thinking about it and I couldn't remember. But when I came, when I went into those pictures, uh -huh. again, I'm going to share the screen. And uh -huh. I think I'll share the screen. Oh, sorry. Hold on a wee second. I shall bring that back up. I'm mm. going to share the screen again because I think I found it. Oh, awesome. Right. And I think. It was uh, trying to do this without hurting my eyes too much. Right. I think it might have been that this shot here. Oh wow, that's a castle, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's um, Elon Doran up near on the way to Sky. And wow. let me just I mean, stop that just now. Exceptionally beautiful. So what happened was wow. I was I was out on the way up to Sky, maybe for walking or cycling, and I just took that. That was just a snap. And, wow. that's, and it, go, it ties back to your social media thing or mm -hmm. Flickr or whatever you want to call that. But yeah. that was seen by an editor of a magazine and then he asked me, can he use it as a front cover? No. And, and your first in those days, it, made a cover. It made the cover and it was a snap taken from the car park. Can you believe? Are you serious? So, yeah. And then oh my goodness. what happened was I then built up a relationship with that editor and he used to wow. contact me when he needed covers. Are you serious? So I got quite a few, yeah, I got quite a few oh, covers out of them. My goodness. And it was all paid. It was all paid. So that was, and it was quite good back then. I cannot believe this. You want So I've been very, I, I, I've got to admit this, I've been very lucky. But it, it oh. goes down to that thing I say to the student, get your images out there, put them out. It doesn't oh, matter right. where they are. I had oh. another student that put a landscape out um, and it was picked up by one of the tourist boards in Scotland, and they ended up getting thousands for it. So, yes, yeah, so you don't know who's, just watching. who's watching. So it's wow. put them out there, you know. And it's it's almost like me and my friend always speak about planting the seed, you know, to yeah. the future. And it's like this is the perfect example of planting a seed and letting it and watching it flourish. I mean, yeah. And, and don't worry if, if something doesn't happen for a wee while, you know, yeah. put it out there. And, and I, reg I, I use my Facebook in that way. I, it's mostly about my photography. I don't put, I always warn students, you know, don't, don't have a picture of you lying in the gutter after a night out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Those could come you know, and hunt you back down. <laughs> yeah, they can hunt you back down. So you have to be very aware of how you're, you're perceiving. Yeah, you're perceiving yourself. That's not, you're totally yeah. right. Because, once those pictures are out there, it's kind of hard to kind of trace them back. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But oh, absolutely. Totally right. That's exceptional. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's really, really good. Great. Oh, wow. And uh, what's the worst assumption people have of photographer? 
that's a hard one. I, I, I don't really know what maybe their assumptions are. Everybody that I've ever worked with, thankfully, touch wood, have yeah. been lovely. And <laughs> so I think it's probably something, I don't know, maybe, I have no idea what maybe people think. They maybe just, they maybe assume that it's an easy, it's an easy business and that's it's not. True. That one is what, and people sometimes I think, one thing I'll have to say is a, with a lot of uh, artists, photographer, or anybody that's kind of part of the art world, where there is film or whatever, I feel sometimes people underestimate the work. That yeah, well, I think maybe social media and, you know, being able to have phones now, they are very, very good tools. So maybe people yeah. think it's a wee bit easier than it is. But yeah. as a professional, you've got to be creative to a client's needs. Yeah. So that's the difference. You know, it's, it's yeah. easy being creative when... And it's all about you and not, nothing else matters. But, yeah. you know, if you've got to do it for a client and he has a specific brief, mm -hmm. that's the professionalism that comes out, you know. So wow. it's not easy and it's not guaranteed that you're ever going to be able to create what, exactly what they want. But, I mean, and also, like, you, you made a good point there because I'm, especially for the people who are starting, you know, sometimes it's like people find it hard to separate, you know, their on uh, their own personal need when it when it comes to working with somebody else as in if yeah. it's a brand yeah. or a customer do you know what i mean i mean the reason yeah. obviously the picture is because they loved your work it's just they're not telling you to absolutely erase your work but they're trying to collaborate it's a collaborate yes yeah. like they're a trying to, decision, yeah you know they're trying to use what they have seen in your yeah. work that's good and then mold it to what they're looking for sometimes you might be asked for to do something that maybe you might not like or you might it might not be you mm -hmm. but that's down to you then do you want the job or do you not. need the money you have the choice, um, you have the choice. You and have the choice. and sometimes even by doing that you can still learn something new and actually yes. end up appreciating it absolutely you know? so basically what you're saying is you have to go with an open mind and be a canvas to absorb yes. anything every day is a learning and learning experience, oh, I, you learn so many things as well. Yeah, I'm still learning, I always will, and hopefully that will always be stops. the case. It never yeah. stops. Never stops. That is so true. And also, uh, what is the main mistake beginners wanting to do photography makes before taking it as a career? I think, again, thinking it's going to be easy. Thinking that they can just go and do it and there's going to be plenty of work out there for you. You need to yeah. build that platform. Mm -hmm. and build that need hopefully from people and there's no guarantee i think the photographers that tend to do the best are actually businessmen with cameras sadly oh. as a as opposed to the more creative people who are sometimes yeah. not that good at marketing and the business side yeah. and i would put myself under that that banner i'm not the best at that mm -hmm. i have been very lucky um, but at the same time, you know, if I'd been more of a businessman, I'd probably be raking in a lot more money. <laughs> you, uh, you'd be a millionaire. You'd be a trillionaire. I might be. <laughs> flying on jets, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. And I think that's very important because, and I also think a lot of people um, who, like I said, in, in, in a way, I think social media is almost like a blessing and a curse because people see other people, like you said, some of the people who make it maybe fast as you may you know with a hair yeah. air quote it's maybe they happen to either have loads of money and happen to maybe have a camera or buy the yeah. most expensive camera and maybe have a friend or somebody there to help them create that idea and maybe then be then afterwards becoming popular and sometimes people see it on social media and they assume that all of a sudden that that's the way it happens that you know you would no. magically un on, on under one night to become this sensational photographer that are, you're shooting like covers of Vogue and for, shooting like big names or whatever the case might be, but they're yeah. forgetting that. And also I think some people will forget that it's like, not everybody's journey is the same. You have to trust exactly. in the process and you have to trust in, you know, and be patient and, and, and know that, like you said, it's your perfect example, planting the seed out there, getting your work out there and getting, your name out there, you never know who's watching. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And I think not everybody wants the same goal, you know? Yeah. Some people might be happy with, you know, a lower level of work. Yeah, I don't mean okay. lower in quality. Yeah. But the amount. 
some people might want to be working 24-7. And Seven, yeah. it depends on what you want. I'm at a stage in life, I, I'm quite lucky I can pick and choose because I do yeah. a bit of my teaching mm-hmm. and that. And I've got the studio in, in, in Glasgow as well. Obviously, that's doing nothing at the moment. Yeah. But, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty lucky in as much as I can pick or choose the people yeah. that I work with, you know, yeah. or uh, <laughs> hopefully they'll still ask to come every now and then. And I'm sure they will, David. You are amazing. <laughs> I'm sure they will. <laughs> that's amazing. And also, what obstacle did you face during your journey of becoming the person that you are today? Did you face well, any I think, obstacles? Yeah, yeah I, again, it's uh, getting married at 16 is not the best base. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> so I had to work and just keep a roof over my head. So yeah. although photography was around, I never considered it as a way of making a living, you know, because I was yeah. too busy just trying to keep a roof over all our and, heads. I had and you also kids. you had to mature faster because obviously, like yeah. you said, you go married young. And then I was pushing a pram at 17. Wow. So, <laughs> so and then I had, I uh, we had I four kids. <laughs> Definitely not we had, <laughs> we had four kids by the time I was 24. Wow. Oh. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so that's, that was a big obstacle. So it wasn't until later the kids were older that I was able to take time out. My wife was working and mm-hmm. she basically allowed me to work part time and go to college. Awesome. And, and that's how I was able to do it. So that was the main obstacle. There was yeah. no other real obstacle other than that. But I do wish I could have started in my early 20s in photography. I would have loved that. I see it wasn't you. to be. <laughs> Although I still feel... Well, you're here now. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, uh, JJ, I still feel... When I'm talking to somebody my age, I feel as if I'm talking to an old person. Oh, my God. I, can I still... That way. I'm, I'm I still the same person. Ten. Yeah, I'm still the same guy in here at 18 or 25. Yeah, that's wow. Not, not that's amazing. The only, the only time I know is older when I, is when I see this. No, they're not quite. When I see that face now, I realize I'm much older. Wow. Than <laughs> do, you know, do you know, like, I think you're so right because there's a lot of people who can relate to that because I even have friends, yeah. obviously, who are slightly older than me and they say, to be honest, I, I don't see the difference. I still feel yeah. as if I was, eight, when I was 18 or 17, yeah. I don't, Obviously, Absolutely. But you know, I think that's true. I don't think you ever lose that inner child. I think it's well, just... I certainly, I certainly hope not. I asked my dad that when he was in his 60s. I said, Dad, I'd be yeah. in my 30s at the time. I said, Dad, when am I going to mature? I've got four yeah. kids that rely on me. When am I going to yeah. mature? He went, wow. you won't. He says, you wow. stay the same age in there. Wow. You, you know, it's just your body falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, true. These these bodies are honest. It's like a car, you know. Yeah, yeah. It gets well, this old one's eventually. Get, <laughs> this one's getting rusty. <laughs> no, I think you're maturing pretty well, David. <laughs> no, but Certainly you, getting bigger. <laughs> that is so true, though. You know, like, you know, we definitely, I think we all pretend to do this thing called adulting. You know, there's yeah. no, it's like, I think it's just a pretend. Everybody's kind of living in this pretend yeah. era, you know, or aura, I mean, you know, so right. it's kind of interesting to hear from your perspective. Because, I, I mean, I know, like, I'm only 23, but, like, a friend of mine asked me once, he was like, oh, how old are you actually recently? I was like, uh, I couldn't even remember how old I am. I actually had to <laughs> go back, and I think sometimes you just, I guess, you lose something, track of what age you are. Yeah. And, you know, you know I, I don't even think about it anymore. And the thing is that when I'm working with, with guys your age, and most obviously yeah. when I'm working now, most people are younger than me. Yeah. And I, I, I don't feel any different. Uh, mm-hmm. But I do notice sometimes people will treat me a wee bit different rather I than me you mean. Yeah. That's, that's just the way it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's so interesting. And also, yeah. how has photography influenced your life style? You would say I'm obsessed. I'm an obsessive. I <laughs> it's been photography all the way with me, and it is just that it's that thing of capturing a moment. It's lived with me, and I still it's pretty sad really go through thousands of pictures from the past. I still go through cases of snaps of my kids when they were wee. So photography's yeah. been with me my whole life, and hopefully it always will be. You know, so it's a it's a massive influence on me throughout my life and I just love you know I was brought up in some of the some of the, the big names in photography mm-hmm. I mean 
I've always loved fashion, photography. I've loved the, the imagery that these these people made back then and now. So yeah, it's massive, JJ, massive. That's. I mean, you can see it definitely. You know, it it is there. Good. And also, what's the best um, best tip you've ever gi been given in life by someone or? Do you know, just be respectful of those round about you, no matter who you're with, who you're working with. Be respectful yeah. of people. Treat people nice. Mm -hmm. And invariably, I mean, I don't do it for this reason, but invariably, if you treat people well and are nice with people, it, it comes back at you, you know? So yeah. that's it, really. I mean, I could say follow your dreams and all these kind of things, but I kind of stumbled my way through life. So, yeah. um, so no, just just treat people nice right. and, and, and everything hopefully will come back at you. Well, sorry, I think sometimes people just re sometimes forget that, you know, a simple hello or a simple yeah, smile can go a long yeah. way. Yeah, and a smile. And, you know, it's been yeah. hard, especially for me personally, because I've all, like as in like uh, in this time, especially because I feel like I've always um, been a, a whole sport for, you know, treating people with kindness and, you know, yeah. Just because Absolutely. people are, everybody's going through something, like life's so hard, and you don't ever want to be the reason why somebody is, you know, sad or Absolutely. whatever. I just, I, I just don't see the reason in trying no to treat anyone without respect. Why yeah. would you do that, you know? So no the first time I met you, you were just yeah. so infectious. Oh, and it was yeah. right away. No, but it's true, though. I know you don't, it's embarrassing you, but yeah. it's true, and you, you yeah. think just, you know, it's just great. Thank so you. people like yourself are just, you know, are an inspiration to me. So. Thank you so much. Wow, Dave. Wow. You are an inspiration <laughs> to me. So, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. And, I, you, you know, David, it's like I said, it's like, you know, especially because we're all covering through the mask. And I'm always like, even if I see us, you know, not that I'm saying I'm working about, you know, smiling and everybody like that. But I'm yeah. saying, you know, you know something, you know, you, caught, you catch this moment where maybe you're in a supermarket or, you know, you have a sm smile just as, you know, walking so yeah. it's like it's hard sometimes being when when you have a mask on yeah and, you when, the, know, when the mouth's it. covered the eye can be lost. like you know some people can even see when you're generally say oh thank you for letting me go through you know like it's, yeah yeah it, it's hard you know but it, it will soon be over you know uh, well <laughs> and also uh you know i got the chance to really uh to see in in person the amazing jackie can you tell us a bit about working with her because i mean she's incredible and i'm i mean you go ahead yeah well i met jackie i don't know maybe more than 10 years ago now and i'm gonna go and share my screen again right so, yes go go me... yes please show people yeah. the amazing jackie people have to see so and it was just in this i found some as well so we're talking about jackie not everybody will know jackie but they probably mm -hmm. should Yes, definitely. Jackie is... Oh, wow. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. So we, we did a wee I mean, series a while back called The Mind of Jackie Bruin. This is... Ins Are you <laughs> kidding me? This is insane. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So... Wow. And wait, wait a minute. When did you photograph these? I've never seen these ones before. All right. We did and these a couple of years back now. And I used to... I used to go to Jackie's house from college. So she'd be working in this for several hours before I arrived. Wow. And I would and come in with a couple meet... of lights. When did you meet Jackie? I would come in with a couple of ring lights and lighter. Okay. And she, she would answer the door like this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I could not imagine. Imagine yeah. somebody answering the door like this to you. I mean, what, do you, yeah. what goes through your head? <laughs> so it was like every, I think it was like every Tuesday night I would go up and we'd do just wow. a wee hour or so and I would take pictures of her creations and these are her creations. I mean, so she, she arrives at the door like that and I just take pictures of it. So, so I get easy with part. Her, with her own concept, like would she come up with these and then just... These are all hers. I'm just taking wow. a picture of it. I'm just a witness to this. So this is oh, all of her work. And that's just some of them. I've got... I've got about 50 odd, I think, oh something like that. Maybe be 20. I mean, this no, is sorry, incredible. I mean, she is, I mean, I got a chance to see her show, like, obviously through her Facebook and the social, I mean, her mind, the, the way that she creates these things and the setup, 
the lighting, yeah. the concept, the story behind every picture and videos. I mean, she is just amazing. And I mean, she is amazing and quite a I, character. So again, I I feed off of that. You know, Jackie's Jackie's brilliant, and she's been doing things wow. during. You should try and get a wee interview with her because yes, she, I would love to have Jackie been, here. I would love to. I would. She's really been on. Um, uh, she's been on Facebook and adding me things nearly every other day and some of the characters she's come up with have been amazing. Oh my goodness. So I'm dying to do Jackie, some more with her. I know you're hearing it from here, but Jackie, we need you here. You need to speak to the people, <laughs> to the world of how you come up with this concept and I will make sure that you see this as well. <laughs> I mean, well, good, it's good. incredible. And I mean, I always, ah, she's... every time she posts something, I'm at, I'm at awe. Like, I just cannot believe it. Ah, and where did you guys ah, it? Like, meet? Did you guys meet? Sorry? Where did you guys meet? We met over, uh, I think it was a student had shot with her, one of my right. night class students. Okay. And then I needed a makeup artist and I asked Jackie if she'd come. And since then, you know, <laughs> we've worked for That's years now together and she's been brilliant. Brilliant. Awesome. Wow. And also, um, how's life been with your family during this pandemic? Well, my family now, because they're all older now with their own families, mm -hmm. um, it's just myself and my wife in the house just now. So, wow. so far, I mean, she's been working together now for about 43 years. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> she's not throwing me out, which is oh amazing. <laughs> I was waiting for this. She's because <laughs> she's seen more of me in the last couple of months. I can than, imagine. Uh, it's like 24 so 7. That, yeah. So it's been a bit of a test. No, how no. She, how has she been well, herself as well? I, okay, yeah. She she was she had to recently get new a new hip, so she had actually been bad just uh -huh. before this. Okay. But she's she's getting better, so that's great. Oh, that's but at that stage in life, you know, we need new bits fitted on. Okay. Us. <laughs> I mean, what can I guess it's the circle of life, right? <laughs> it is, eh? <laughs> oh my god, but I hope that she do get better and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. So no, we've muddled through, thanks. We've muddled. Oh. And today, today two of my my my, my kids came up oh, to so visit. Yeah. So they were sitting out in the have? garden. I've actually got a chance. So I've, you've got two I've got four kids oh, oh, four. And, a, wow. and a million grandchildren. I mean, that sounds like heaven. <laughs> that is amazing. And I, I can't even that is good. I can't even begin to to imagine Christmas and all the big events. I mean Mental birthdays and woo i mean they must liquefy no. all your money your bank account must be empty at the end. <laughs> buy cheap presents <laughs> oh my yes that's why you've got bnm <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing that's amazing and uh what would you tell your younger self if you could go back in time what would you tell your younger self? Uh, I wouldn't change a lot of stuff, but I would have loved to have got into photography earlier if there had been any way of doing that earlier. Mm. And that was the heyday, the 80s and all that would have been a fantastic time to do it. Mm. So that's the one thing. And be, but being a bit more focused photography-wise at a younger age, mm. I'd have loved to have done that. Wow. Um, and that's about it, really, because everything else I do is kind of what I probably would have done anyway. Done anyway. Oh, wow. So you're really one of those lucky ones who that found their calling at a young age and were able well, to... Well, you know, I found my, my partner at a very, very young age Lovely. and we've got on ever since. And that's been the basis of everything, you know, and oh. we've got great families, so... That's amazing. You know, wouldn't change anything. Oh, I'm, I mean, it's just so inspiring to hear all of this, do you know what I mean? And, and, I, can, and I can definitely see, you know, and it's, it's, the, it's one thing when you find the person that you love and, you know, it's like your lifetime partner and... You're able to create yeah. families and grandkids. I mean, this is what life is all about. Do you know what I mean? It is. Yeah. I mean, so I wouldn't change anything, JJ. Nothing. Wow. That's, a, that's really amazing, David. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, how will this pandemic affect the creative world, you, uh, in your opinion? Well, that's, that's a big one and way over my head, probably. But I mean, it's killed work for me, dead <laughs> at the moment, as for most creatives. Um, not all, obviously. Yeah. Um, I'm just can't wait till I can start meeting and shooting people again and mm -hmm. and being in that creative atmosphere but I, I mean I, I fear for it I really do yeah and also so, um, what lesson do you think people will take from this to enjoy a lot of the simpler things that we maybe 
really I, I remember going out at one point and just hearing all the birds singing and mm. and it, I know it sounds a bit airy fairy but oh, no, 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 it doesn't I, it's a, like you oh, that's a good point that's yeah a, and just that fresh air and I thought you know what I'm alive I'm breathing mm, great, um, great fun you know, let, yeah let's take the simple things and and then when we do all get back together to be creative, just really, really enjoy those moments yeah. because we don't know when they'll be taken away again, you know? Yeah, that's so true. I think none of us saw this coming. And for a lot of us, especially like, you know, people who, to be honest, I really do think everybody's a social butterfly, you know, in a way where, you know, people, everybody wants as much as people want to. Yeah, it's good to have your own time, but I think it's also important to have the human connection and to interact and, it's part oh, of definitely. it's part of being a human being. Do you know what? Yes, I mean? absolutely. You know, being able to hug people again is going to be oh, lovely. I'm, just, I'm such a hugger, honestly, David. Like, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? It's like for me, oh, it's, I mean, coming back to work, especially when I go back to work, not being able to, you know, hug everybody. I mean, it's going to kill me. But and I know, I know, eventually we'll get to a place where we can do those things again. We will. You know, will. and also, what would you say is your definition of happiness? I was thinking about this one, and I always remember a moment where I was sitting on a beach in the Outer Hebrides. It was mm. a day like today. It was roasting hot. Yeah. There was a crowd of us outside this Gatliff Trust Youth Hostel sitting on the grass. Wow. We cracked open a bottle of malt whiskey. There was a <laughs> guy from Germany on a fiddle. The seals were coming in to no. watch us. That was probably my, you know, so being with family, friends, and a beautiful, you know, up in the highlands somewhere. That's my idea of happiness. Amazing. I mean, that sounds pretty great. <laughs> it was cool. And that's really, really good, David. Yeah. And also, do you feel like you're truly living life, uh, the life that you thought for yourself? I think my, right, my life's been a series of reacting to whatever position I've been in. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult to tell. I... I I just know I wouldn't have changed much, so that's not a bad thing. So yeah, yeah, I, I'm, that's good. I, I'm, I've got a family that I love and hope that they love me. And mm. what more could you want? Absolutely, that's so true. You know, and being able to work with creative people. Wow, it's amazing, you know? right? It's like you're able to share different cultures and different like, uh, yep. see in a different light that you. Yeah, would definitely. Like to see yeah. Before. It's amazing. It's really, really good. And also coming to her last question, and um, what would you tell anyone go uh, through this time? Like, what would be your word of wisdom? You know, for anybody with everybody going through this mm. uh, tough times. Just, just keep going and be mm -hmm. thoughtful. When we're coming out of this, you know, there's been a lot of people you see in Facebook judgmental about how others are dealing with it. You know, yeah, don't be like that. You know, just stay safe. Think about others, and know that we're going to see. The light at the end of this tunnel you know so continue being nice to one another yeah. and don't be judgmental because we're all handling it in different ways yeah. i mean there are obviously those that don't seem to take consideration but again don't get involved with that just be involved with the people that are and and be positive throughout this and we will get to the other side at some point wow oh i mean david you really have just been an inspiration through and oh, through. thanks man thank you thank you so much <laughs> And I mean, and I'm so glad that we finally got the chance to do this. And I know we have. I know, I know. But I think, you know what? I really think that was actually good that we had that because I actually prefer this one better because people are able, it's more chill and there's yeah. no stress of, you know, you know right. it working or not. But thank you so much yeah. for being here. And I thank you again. And I can't wait to see Pleasure. you again and for us to work together for hopefully in the future again. And I thank you so much, and I hope that your family and everybody else is keeping safe, okay? Well, thank you. Thank you so much, David. See you later, mate. Well, you have a lovely day. Take care. Time, okay? Bye yeah, bye. Yeah, get out in the sun. Yes, oh, uh, yes I will. <laughs> I'm already dressed to the occasion. <laughs> 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 See you. See you, mate. Bye.